Some believe that ghosts are bound to land. And so, by traveling away from land, what would be safe because ghosts do not cross waters? Is this true? I'm Mutt, and this is Incredible Tales. Ask any sailor if that belief is true, and they would tell you that it isn't, even to those who sail as a hobby, like Steven. I've been sailing as a hobby for a long time. I enjoyed it. I still do. But there was this one incident I will never forget, when my friend lent me his yacht for the weekend. This is a nice surprise. Yeah, I figure we can go for almost spin before a baby comes. Or we can still go when the baby comes. And where will you find the time with all the crying and the diapers? And, and... you'll be helping out too. Of course I would. But let's worry about that later. Because right now, there's just the two of us and the wide open sea. Hmm. Well, Sean's really nice to lend us his new yacht. You sure he doesn't mind? Of course. He owes me one. <laughs> So, where are we going? Ah, you'll find out soon enough. This surprise is just going to get better. <laughs> I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> so, this is the place? Yes, we are here. And where exactly is here? To be geographically precise, 30 minutes from the shores of Bintan. And, to be more precise, away from the prying eyes of tourists, and here for a romantic dinner. <laughs> in that case, what's for dinner? You'll find out in an hour's time. Until then, the area below is off limits. But, but, uh, not even a little hint? You'll be good, trust me. Not yet. <laughs> okay. Sit. Okay, you can open up. This looks great, honey. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stephen? Yes, darling? Where are we? Like I said, we are 30 minutes... Minutes away from the shores of Bintan. Yes, I know. But that's not what I meant. I mean, what if we run into some trouble tonight? Where are we? What do you mean? I'm worried, Stephen. What if some trouble happens tonight? There won't be any trouble. You can't be too sure. Do you at least have a radio? Oh no! I guess we just have to shout then. Help! Help! Uh, Stephen, don't joke. <laughs> Relax. We have a radio. And in any case, I can sail us off any trouble in a flash. <laughs> How I wish I was right. The night was smooth up to the point until... Why do you turn on the lights? Do you see that? Someone's out there. Ooh. I don't know, but I saw it. Someone ran past the window. It's probably a bird. No, it's not a bird. It's someone. You switch off the light. Oh no, I am serious. Someone's out there. It's someone, it's human. Do you know where we are? How is it even possible? Will it kill you to at least check? Sure, I'll go and have a look. Did you 
Did you hear that? Looks like it's coming from up there. You best stay here. Be careful. What is it? You see those water spots? Where did they come from? What on earth? It's a shoe. I guess this solves the mystery of the thumping. But how can such a small shoe make such a loud sound? It's just not possible. I don't feel so good. Please get rid of the shoe. Just throw it away. I, I don't want it anywhere near me. Now that the mystery of the thumping sound has been resolved, what about the mystery of the wet spots? What about the shoe? Is this the end of it? Find out when Incredible Tales returns. Welcome back to Incredible Tales. The romantic getaway off the shores of Bintan has become unromantic. In fact, it is slowly turning into a nightmare. I've checked and rechecked the boat thoroughly. And? Nothing. Everything's okay. Why? More thumbs? No. I was just wondering if someone needs help out at sea. I mean... We did find a shoe after all. I think we should have a look. We should help if someone needs it. Fine. I'll start out the boat and check the surrounding area for a while, okay? Like there's something stuck to the propeller. I'm going down to check. Forget about it then. We can do that in the morning. Don't worry. I won't take too long.
What is it? We have to go. Calm down, calm down. I'm calm. But after we get out of here. Where are we going? I don't care. Anywhere but here. What is it? Talk to me. I'll tell you later. Stephen, you're scaring me. Later. Didn't we just? I never talk about what happened underwater. I never told Melissa. In fact, I tried my best to forget about it. But unfortunately, the incident stayed with me long after we got back to Singapore. What is it? I had a nightmare. But what? And then she disappeared, just like that. How is she dressed? Why? You had the same dream? in the water, I met her. You're not just imagining things? I couldn't have imagined this. Are we ready? Are we ready? Don't leave me alone. The child decided that you were her new parents. Huh? What do you mean? Please follow me. You stumbled across a drowning site. And the little girl you both are experiencing drowned there. And her spirit had been wandering out at sea until you picked up her shoe. And she wants you to be her parents. What exactly happened to this girl? Mommy, <laughs> mommy! Don't interrupt. This is impolite.
Henry, Henry, where's me? Me? She wasn't with me. And what happened to her real parents? She needs the attention of some parents. How can you know all this? Are you sure? Hmm, I can see. What do you mean? Actually, she's right here, now. What can Steven and Melissa do now that they have this young child following them? Find out when Incredible Tales returns. Welcome back. The encounter with the girl has begun to consume the couple, and now she is following them. Can they escape? We decided to help this girl and put her to rest. She may have chosen us to be her new parents, but we were afraid of her. Melissa was almost due. We could not let this child spirit come near our baby. What if she harms our child? This is where it all happened. Do you see that? See what? A footprint. I didn't see anything. Is she gone? I will never forget that incident because it showed me many things. More importantly, it taught me a lesson. It showed that as parents, we must give our children the attention to protect them, keep them out of trouble. Come here. To not lose sight of them. So, the whole mystery turned out to be a lost child searching for the attention of parents. So which lesson did you learn today? Not to pick up foreign objects at sea, or to not lose sight of your children. Either way, I hope that you've learned from this incredible tale. Yeah.